game, Scott. You did really well out there. I'm proud of you. Easy for you to say. You didn't lose. Oh, someday I'll beat you, Lynx. Hey, I'm sure no. Whoa, what are you minnows still doing here? My dudes, we gotta get to the square. The two queens of the obelisk are going at it. Let's go. You don't want to miss the duel of the century, do you? Come on, dudes. Wait, today? Now? Oh, God, I completely forgot. We have to hurry. Wait a minute, what do you mean we have to hurry? What's even happening right now? What are you on about? Uh, d d don't worry about it. Let's just get out of here. Go, Sobin. Like, yeah, totally kick her ass. Yeah, Sobin, let's go. You got this girl. Oh, yeah. Well, the air oh, sure geez. does feel tense Two and filled with blues. dueling spirits. Oh, maybe I can learn a thing or two from this. Come on, Mr. Don't let anyone get your ass. Yeah, I know you can do it. You got to destroy her. The future of our mission now entirely rests on your shoulders. You better not screw this up, Bashira. Go, Sorin. You can totally win. Kick her, short. Perfect. Ass. I'm glad we made it in like we time. We just made it but in time, my dude. Can someone please tell me who the queens of the obelisk are? I'm not up to date with my top duelists. Lady, I don't really know you. But the future here at Duel Academy for me is resting entirely on your shoulders. And when we duel together, you kick some major butt. So I need you to do it again. Please, I can't afford to leave the island. So for our sake, for all of our sake, you have to do well. I have no idea what got you into this mess. But I know you can get out of it. Heh, <laughs> I guess her good charm must have angered someone. Just so you know, I'm not rooting for her. That's quite all right. Given what she's done to you, I don't blame you at all. My, my, quite the turnout we have here today. Not that any of it matters, though. The only one I needed here today is you. You're the only one that mattered. I'm the only one that matters? Wow, I'm flattered. I didn't know you thought about me that way. Unfortunately, I don't swing that way. Sorry. <laughs> Cute. I can't wait to duel that attitude out of that smug bitch face of yours. So you better be ready. Oh, I was born ready. Duel disc on! Now let's go. Excellent! Duel disc on! Prepare to get schooled. Game get set on. to get decked. Since you're the one that caused all the trouble, I'm going to go first. I draw! Hmm, let's see here. Ah, yes. I'll start things off by summoning up my double cost in an attack mode. And then to end my turn, I'm placing three cards face down. That blazer of hers suggests that she's an obelisk blue. This could be more tricky than I thought. But if double costing can survive her turn, on my turn, I'll take full control of this duel and show this wannabe what a real duelist can do. Ha! <laughs> She plays her monster in attack mode. I can get an early lead by doing some damage. But she also plays down three face downs. She probably has a trap. I need to rig that trap so it doesn't affect me. I draw! Let's see, what can I... Oh, okay. First up, I'm summoning a battle and boxer big bandit in attack mode. Now then, battle and boxer big bandit attack double costing. You fool, what are you thinking? Your monster is 600 points less than my monster! Yes, I know, which is why I'm banishing Battle and Boxer Counterpunch from my hand. By doing so, the Battle and Boxer on my field now gains an additional 1,000 attack points! So that was your goal. Well, I'm afraid it was all for naught because I'm activating my face down card, the Meta Card Axe of Despair! And it gives my double cost an additional 1,000 attack points. So now we're right back where we started. Which means now, due to your carelessness, you're going to lose life. Wait a minute, how did you just gain life points? And where did that monster come from? And why is a big bandit dead? My, my, it would seem you don't actually know too much about my cards, do you? Well, you'll have to forgive me. I don't use common trash. I actually use good cards. Now answer my questions! It's actually rather simple. You see, I activated Battle and Boxer Veil's ability from my hand. Whenever I take battle damage, I can automatically summon this monster to the field. And if he's successfully summoned, well, I happen to gain all those damage points as life points instead. That still doesn't explain how Big Bandage is alive. You didn't activate any face down cards, and Veil's ability only gave you life points. So how is Big Bandage still alive? My me, did I forget to mention Big Bandit's special ability? Once per turn, he can't be destroyed in battle. Well, 
Wait, then that means... You planned for this? You were either going to get an advantage on the field or in life points! It's about time you caught up. I was starting to wonder if you'd ever be competition for me. Now, will you try wrapping your puny little mind around my epic combo? I'm going to end my turn with two face downs. All right, I suppose credit is due. You did catch me off guard with that combo. Unfortunately, though, you failed to kill Double Costin. So now, I tribute Double Costin. And so long as this monster is tributed for a dark monster, it counts as two tributes. So I can summon forth Vampire Vamp. And now that I've summoned Vampire Vamp to the field, your chances of defeating me have just become null. Vampire Vamp is currently the strongest monster in play, and it only gets better from here. If you happen to have a monster stronger than mine, and I happen to summon a Vampire Monster or Vampire Vamp again, I get to absorb that monster onto my own monster and its attack points then become my monster's attack points as well. Furthermore, if my monster is destroyed with your monster attached to it, I get to revive my monster instantly. With that said, Vampire Vamp, attack Battle and Buxter Vale and destroy him! You may not have lost any life points because your monster was in defense mode, but I wouldn't celebrate too early. Your chances of winning this duel have been severely cut in half. Because now you've just lost a monster. And if you do manage to somehow summon a monster that is stronger than Vampire Vamp, the minute I summon another Vampire Monster, that monster will instantly be absorbed and its attack points added to my own monster. If you manage to summon a Vampire Monster, you sure sound rather confident that if our monsters had to duke it out and mine was stronger, yours would survive. Does that mean you have a trap card? Well, I happen to have a trap of my own. I activate the Nordic Relic Leviathan Trap Card. And by using this card, whenever it's activated, if a monster was destroyed this turn, I get to destroy the monster that destroyed that card. Oh, wait. A monster was destroyed this turn. My veil. And what, what was it that killed it? Your vampire vamp. No! You can't! But I just did. All right, it's my turn. Yeah, but what to do with it? Mm. All right, I'll start things off by summoning out Battle and Boxer Switch Hitter. And whenever this monster is summoned, I get to supposed to summon a monster from my graveyard. So I bring back Battle and Boxer Veil. Normally at this time, I would exceed some of my lead yoke. But she seems so confident she'd be able to absorb it. But Vampire Vamp is gone now. Mm -hmm. I need to make a quick decision and fast. All right, Battle and Boxer Big Bandage, attack Soren directly. Ew. Fool! I activate my trap card, Haunted Shrine. Now, if I control no monsters, I get to supposed to summon one zombie-type monster back to the field from the graveyard. So please make a grand welcome for Vampire Vamp! <laughs> ah, so that was your plan. I see now why you weren't afraid of me destroying your monster. Go! Battle of Boxer Vale! Attack Vampire Vamp now! Are you insane? Battling Boxer Vale has zero attack points! It's suicide! You're going to lose 2,000 life points! Oh, come on! You had another one? I seriously hate that thing! Well, good news for you. He's not sticking around long. Because I open the overlay at work and overlay my Battle and Boxer Switch Hitter to my two Battle and Boxer Veils in order to exceed summon number 105! Battle and Boxer Star Cestus! So much for following the plan! Way to go, Ashira! Oh, what the hell were you thinking, Ashira? Huh? Here goes so, our cover! So, like you as a number card. Well, then I better step up my game. I draw! And now I activate the magic card, Double Summon, which allows me to summon forth two new monsters. First up, I'm summoning up the Kick Man in attack mode. Then I summon forth the Iron Chain Snake. And now I open the Overlay Network and overlay my Iron Chain Snake to the Kick Man in order to exceed summon number 48, Shadow Leech. She also has a number. So they both have numbers. How interesting. Now then, Vampire Vamp, attack Battle and Boxer Big Bandage! Hold it! I activate Battle and Boxer Star Cestus' ability. By using one overlay unit, if any of my monsters are in battle, I can now negate all your monster's special abilities. My monster can't be destroyed in that battle, and any battle damage I would have taken is now dealt to you! Now, what? Star Just Cestus, return all that damage straight back at Soren. Oh, it's my move again. Hold it, you! I activate Shadow Leech's ability! 
Now, once per turn, on your turn, I can sacrifice one overlay unit to summon out a shadow token. And when this token is summoned, you can't attack Shadow Leech anymore. You can only attack the token. And for every token on my side of the field, Shadow Leech now gains 500 additional attack points. Oh boy. Well, that's fine with me. I place one card face down. Now, Big Bandage, attack that shadow token. <sighs> now then, Star Cestus, destroy that shadow leech. Now say goodbye to your number. Time to go back to the graveyard with you. Not so fast. I activate my trap card, Astral Barrier. Thanks to this card, your attack now becomes a direct attack, and my monster is spared. <laughs> it's our turn comes to an end. What the? That was the stupidest move I've ever seen. She nearly lost all her life points. If she had just let her monster been destroyed, she wouldn't have lost nearly as much. What a stupid move. <laughs> Amateur, this is why you're a slifer red. Nice play, Lady Soren. Now next turn you can make an awesome comeback! I gotta admit, that was well executed. Nice going, lady. You just might be what we're looking for. Well done! You saved your monster. You took a big hit, but at least your number was spared. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter. I think Ashura's has already planned for Unfortunately, my turn doesn't end here. In fact, the only thing ending here is you. For I activate the card I placed down earlier, Onigami Combo! Thanks to this card, I now must discard all overlay units on one of my Xyz monsters, and that monster can attack again! So now, Battle and Boxer Star Cestus, end this duel and send her to the graveyard! Now say goodbye to your number. Time to go back to the graveyard with you! <laughs> I hope you are watching, boys. Because I think I found who we're looking for. Attention all lovely students! That time is finally upon us! You've been here for at least a whole month now, and soon we'll be holding our annual get-together with North Academy! Once a year we like to hold ourselves a rival tournament to see which school is the best of the best, and now we're gonna see which one of our students is actually the best by hosting a tournament! So please, duel each other. I'll explain the rules at another time, but for now, start dueling kids, and let's see which one of you climbs your way to the top of the finals to be crowned this school's number one South Academy Top Dueler! <laughs> it's finally showtime. It's time to show these losers what North Academy can really do. Get your game on, South Academy.